Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome back to another episode in this Puppeteer tutorial series. In this episode I will show you how we can solve a very common problem we have in web automation and web scraping. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So what is our common problem? So a common problem we have in web scraping is automating tasks on authenticated accounts. For example, Let's say I want to automate some tasks on my Reddit account, like creating posts, checking some data from my account, or for example, scraping the recommended posts on my account. Now, usually on your Puppeteer script, you'd have to log in every time or manage cookies yourself and also trying to have a static IP address so you don't get treated like a bot and various other problems you have that you have to manage yourself. Now the way to solve this issue is to use automated browser profiles. There are several other services out there that provide this solution. One of them that I use personally, and uh, it's this also the sponsor of this video, is multi-login. And uh, what it allows you to do is manage multiple profiles securely. So let's say you have more than one Reddit account, and for each of your accounts, you want to automate some tasks. Well, all you have to do is create your account, log in manually, and then connect to that profile each time you want to automate a certain task. Now, the, the good thing about this, and as I said before, is that you don't have to manage cookies yourself. You don't have to manage that the browser to be undetectable. You don't have to manage your IP or proxy profiles. All you have to do is just create your account, log in, and then connect that account to your Puppeteer script. So yeah, let's see how we can use it. So first of all, to get started, make sure you click the link down in the description and use my coupon code MICHAEL50 to get 50% off, which is a big discount, which they only did for my users. So make sure you use MICHAEL50, it will be in the screen as well. Okay, now after you purchase a plan, and of course use my coupon code to get 50% off, Go here to profiles and we will create a new profile. And as you will see, we have a few settings here. First of all, you can give it a name. Let's say it's my ready account and it's my first ready account. Then you can choose a target website. Unless it's one of those right here, just click other. Website name is optional. You can just put Reddit here if you want to categorize them. And then for proxy, you can either use multi-login proxies, they provide you with proxies themselves and based on your plan you will have some proxy traffic or you can just click custom and then import your own proxies. For now we'll just use multi-login proxies which are the best and as you will see on my other videos I also recommend to use multi-login proxies. You can also choose here in the connection type either residential or mobile. Basically, residential is whenever the internet connection is on a residence, like a house. And mobile is basically mobile data. If for any reason you want to use mobile data, I will go with that. Like if for some reason you want your browser to show that you have a mobile device. But usually residential is good. And also you can choose the location here. If for any reason that website is only accessible from the United States, for example, you can choose United States. Or if you want to, to pose as a United States visitor, you can also do that the same way. Then we have protocol here. You can either choose SOX5 or HTTP. I'll use HTTP. Actually, uh, there's no big difference for most of you. Then for sticky session, we'll of course use here keep IP for as long as possible because we want to keep the same IP since for each account so we don't get treated as a bot because if we are frequently uh, changing IP every time we run our script it will look weird in Reddit and they might even block your account you might get banned which is one of the reasons you should use multi-login so you don't have to manage all this stuff yourself like uh, fingerprints, IPs and etc and potentially ban your accounts. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Then for start URL, you will basically use Reddit. 
On the first start basically means the first time we open our browser after creating it, it will open this URL, but the following times it will just stay where you left it. Now, if your task involves first going to this page and then doing something, then of course you will click on every start. And then we can put some tags here, some nodes. Here you can choose the operating system. If for some reason you need to choose a specific operating system, you can do that. Now here, same for the browser. This is basically Chrome and this is Firefox. So you can use either if you want something specific. For storage is basically where the browser data will be saved, either in the cloud or locally. Usually local is what you go for. And then we have some other settings here that you can customize for your browser. We will leave this to default. Most of the times default is the best option unless you have something specific that you want to do. Now what you want to do next is click here, download the application. And once you download it, open it, as you will see nothing will pop up. This is just an application that connects to this browser interface. Now to connect it, we will click connect agent. After you have opened that application, now you'll see agent is connected. And then what we can do for the first time is log in manually. Usually the cookies last very long with Reddit. So you don't have to automate the login process. You can just renew the cookies whenever they expire, which will be for a very long time usually. So there we go, I logged into my account manually. Now if I close the browser, we can relaunch the browser. And this time, as you will see, I'll be already logged in. There we go. Let's see how we can now connect to this browser using Puppeteer. So first of all, we will go to documentation. So let's click here. And there is a few things that we need to do automatically. First of all, we would like to launch the profile. You can also create profiles using the API, but I'll skip this, but have in mind you can do that. So you can create and delete profiles automatically. So let's say your use case is not uh, authenticated accounts. Let's say that you want to just have a new session for every, every time you scrape, you can do that. So you can create the profile, do your task and then delete it. Go on launcher. And as you'll see, to start our browser profile, all we have to do is ping this API, this endpoint, and then we have to provide the folder ID and the profile ID. And then also the automation type, either Selenium, Puppeteer, Playwright, we'll use Puppeteer. And then you can also pass some settings like headless mode to false or true. So either you want to see the browser and the actions happening, or you don't want to do that. We have a few settings here that you can use. But as you will see, we have to authorize ourselves with a bearer token. Okay, to get the authorization token, first of all, you will need to log in to the API, to the multi login API. Then from that, we will get our token using the email and password of our account. And then with that token, we will ping this endpoint, which will generate an automation token. So let's take this, go to Postman, let's copy this here. And then in the body, we want to replace the email and password with our account email and password. Okay, one mistake I, I skipped uh, is that you need to hash your password with the MD5 algorithm. So let's take this example of the code. So first of all, let's create our project a new folder okay so let's create a project then let's open terminal and install crypto and here we will put our password let's say this was our password you also want to output that perfect let's run this and this is what we need to use now, instead of using your actual password here, you need to replace this with the hash of your password and then click send. And as you'll see, we are successfully logged in. Let's go and copy this. Go to Postman, create a new request. And then go here to authorization, select bearer token. 
and we'll copy this token and replace this with our token and click send and this would is what we will use with our puppeteer script now usually you'd set a very long expiration period like a month or more that way you don't have to generate it every time so after you do that and this is what you have to do every time you need to generate a new token let's go to our script let's create a .env and put our token here like so perfect now let's go back to the documentation let's go to launcher and then start a browser profile let's take this go here install axios well let's import axios let's create some variables that we need to use in order to open the profile automation type let's just use puppeteer i'm not sure if that has any difference and here on headless mode we will put false because we want to see the browser open up and yeah that's it so let's do axios.get we will get that url since it's a get request and now let's find the folder id and profile id we also need to pass some headers here since we need to pass the bear token let's install .env so we can get the token from our .env let's require it here and import it like so perfect go to our profile and as you'll see here we can copy profile id so let's do that perfect now to get the folder id i don't see any easy way to do it from the ui so what we can do is use the api like the, the same one we used to log in so let's go to and here this is the endpoint workspace folder so let's take this go to postman run this and here is all of our folders so we can just take the folder id from here perfect now let's run our code and what should happen is the browser should we do get an authorization error okay i made a mistake here i need to remove this let's run it again and there we go so the browser is launched and we get some data here what is most useful for us is the port Okay, so now let's see how we can connect it with Puppeteer. So first of all, well, let's install Puppeteer Core. Since we will be using our own browser instance, we don't have to use Puppeteer, which also installs a browser. Let's import it here. Let's create a, an asynchronous function instead. Let's repeat the API process, but with asynchronous. So profile goes our weight axios dot get like so. But instead of using puppeteer dot launch, we will use puppeteer dot connect. And we don't have the browser US WS endpoint, but all we need is the port really. Okay, so as you will see, the this is the format you need to use. So let's copy this. So basically, this should be HTTP and nothing here. Okay, so as you will see, it has to be browser URL and then this format right here. So instead here, we'll go to Reddit. Perfect. And then let's do a very simple task. Uh, actually, let's go to old Reddit. Which so instead we will visit old reddit you don't have to re-log into old reddit the cookies from normal from the reddit.com will work in old reddit.com as well and now what i want to do is get all the titles from here just keep it very simple let's say get all titles 
So we will use this selector. And let's just log the titles. So for each title, we will use the text content. And uh, yeah, let's basically. It. And then we will close the browser. So let's rerun our script. So as you'll see, we got all the titles that are suggested to our account. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit your like button, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos.